You have undoubtedly heard about conventional mortgage, the standard 30-year mortgage owner-occupied. In recent years, you probably also heard about DSCR loans, debt service coverage ratio. But did you know there is actually a loan where there is no DSCR coverage? And did you know that in a buyer's market, this might be the exact loan that you need to take down a deal? We're going to have this conversation with Stephen Dow from Velocity Mortgage. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Yourself? Multitasking here. Yeah, it looks like you were, you were working, dealing with <laughs> leads. email. I'm talking to you. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Well, hey, do me a favor. Do that marketing mm -hmm. thing for Velocity Mortgage, and we'll get into this topic because uh, I think it's an important one. Great. Thank you again. Um, although I work very uh, happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel, that of my own. So let's get it going. I, I, it's funny. I'm, uh, I think we were just talking about this off, off air, but yeah, I'm staring out this window. There's more and more people headed out to the pool. And I'm surprised that you don't hear the G DJ you know, music in the background. But yeah. um, So what Steven yeah. just told you there is he is in Vegas for a mortgage event. He tipped the uh, front desk to get a room that overlooks the pool. He is that guy that has the binoculars. Yes, that's Steven. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I digress. I digress. I want to talk about... Uh, gotcha. <gasps> <laughs> yes, folks, we have fun on this channel. Uh, I want to talk about this because, again, I, I think we've entered a buyer's market. I think there are a lot of landlords who have owned the properties for a long time. Uh, as a lot of people know, you know, landlords who get long in the tooth don't necessarily raise rents. They they don't take care of the properties as much as they would like. And I believe there are lots of fourplexes, eight plexes, shoot, 20 unit buildings that existing landlords want to sell, but they are not in a condition. Uh, to get conventional financing. They're not in condition to get traditional DSCR loans uh, because the rents are too low. But here's the deal. The money is made in identifying and creating value. If you can work with something and create a plan, Velocity Mortgage has a DSCR loan with no coverage or you don't look at it. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, at certain loan amounts and below, it's basically still a no ratio loan. So once again, no tax returns, no pay stubs, no W-2s, but more importantly in this case, no DSER ratio to be met. So um, in a lot of those cases where you're purchasing a property that might be under rented, like you said, current landlord a little long on the tooth, didn't really you know, capitalize or increase rents over time. So normal lending uh, 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 qualifying guidelines would require that it would need to cash flow, but based upon current, you know, circumstances it's not going to so uh i'm actually doing a loan for for uh, another one or rental time repeat client buying three multifamilies no dscr but the same situation where it could cash flow he, he and he's done the homework as far as market rents it's just that this particular these three properties the landlord you know he just didn't uh keep up it's with market rent. And so yeah but uh this particular borrower shout out to chris um sees no, the chris. advantage of yeah. no ratio so getting in 30 year fixed money as well gives them a little bit of time to, you know, yeah. renovate a little bit, tweak up, you know, uh, uh, the property to increase value and then increase rent. And so this is like, geez, Chris is like probably seven, eight loans deep with us. So mm. um, he does, yeah, he does his homework for sure. And after he, you know, gets his hands on the property, which is the most important thing to, yeah. to actually get the financing, then he does what he does. And then. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a really important concept because again, sometimes, and I bought these. I remember there's a fourplex I bought, three bedroom, one baths that were rented like one bedrooms, and you know, it's it's you know, it's in it's in the condition that you would think it would be definitely qualify as a slumlord property in my opinion. Um, but that it, it was a fourplex, so in theory, at the time, I could have gotten conventional financing. Sorry, didn't qualify, poor condition. Uh, I could have gotten out and got a traditional non-QM or DSCR loan. Sorry, wouldn't work because the rents were a one-bedroom when you know it was actually a three-bedroom. So I had to come and get a loan that had no ratio. And that allowed me to buy an asset that I would not otherwise qualify for. That project, because it was four units, took about a year to turn around. The rents more than tripled, which again, exploded the cash flow. <laughs> and, you know, you can, I mean, my other, only other option would have been a crazy hard money loan. Right. Or right. Ca paying cash. 
And at the time I did this four units, I couldn't have paid cash. I didn't have the liquidity. So sometimes, and I think we're going to see a lot of this. The buyer's market is here. Stuff is aging, man. The stuff that I'm seeing is starting to age out, poor condition, poor quality, below market rents. And sometimes you need a no ratio loan. So again, let's remind people what a no ratio loan is. Uh, well, basically, we're not looking at any type of measurement or metric to qualify them as far as a certain ratio, whether it be debt to income ratio, where you measure their personal income against their personal debt, or DSER ratio, where you're measuring the net operating income against the mortgage payment, uh, or even bank statements, where you're measuring the number of deposits over the last 12 to 24 months and averaging out to be your income. So with that being said, um, yeah, the ease of use is is the key here. So uh, very little hoopla, minimum 650 FICO, and we can typically get you up to 75% LTV, which is, uh, in this case, wow. we only needed 70. So it was, yeah, it was still, yeah, a, a doable deal. But the loan yeah, amount's this, at 500,000 and under, so no no ratio for this gentleman. Yeah, again, this is why this is why it is important to do your homework. Uh, this is why it's important to learn your my, uh, buy box. And this is why Velocity Mortgage comes back, because they'll do loans that other firms won't. This this deal won't go conventional. It's not an option. This deal yeah. won't go traditional DSCR. It's not an option. But no. there are some times where you need that lender like Velocity, who is a non-standard lender that will look at it deal by deal. They're not trying to fit some cookie cutter, push a button, auto approve nonsense. They're going to talk with you. They're going to look at the deal. Specifically, Steven is going to talk with you, look at the deal, <laughs> brainstorm talk about maybe do a 50 you could even do a 50 40 10 on this right and actually come in with 10 percent down if the oh, yeah. seller oh yeah with you. oh yeah we've we, we've structured um uh deals where even on commercial properties that 90 percent cltv option applies and so depending upon you know what the seller is willing to carry or how much equity they have you know to work with and how much they're willing to carry and for how long that's really yeah. what it comes down to but yeah i'm here to kind of crunch some numbers though if you've got potential you know uh scenarios please feel free to give me a call or email me. Yeah. So Stephen, how do they reach out to you again? I think a lot of people in my community are doing the work. A lot of them are seeing, I'll call it distressed properties that they think they right. can turn around, but they yep. need financing. How do they reach out to see if you can help them? Emails. The best is going to be to S D A O at velocity mortgage.com in the subject line. Please put the acronym O R A A T to make it past the firewall body, the email, maybe a brief description, of what you're looking for. Uh, your mid FICO score would be re really helpful. Address is going to be super helpful. And of course, a phone number so I can call you back within 24, 40 hours. I'm in Vegas right now. I'm getting a little spotty kind of like Wi-Fi uh, uh, um, connection. I think you and I were, were talking about but earlier and I was cutting out. So phone uh, email is probably going to be best for now um, just because I'm not getting a lot of phone service being in a hotel. Yeah. So SDAO, D-A-O at velocitymortgage.com. Five letters in the email uh, subject line, O-R-A-A-T. Yes. Again, yes, sir. keep doing the work. Deals are out there. We bring you all different kinds of lenders on this channel because you never know who's the one that can help you. Uh, again, if you want to go buy a project, uh, no ratio, Velocity Mortgage is the way to go. Steven, you're amazing. Keep working. Thank you. You too, brother. Have a good weekend. Mm -hmm.